Welcome everyone. I have some hammers on my table, but how about to make another one? I have a piece of brass, piece of steel, and aluminium. And I want to have a soft hammer that I could use as a machinist hammer. Someone says that it's machinist hammer, but why this one is not machinist hammer? Maybe because it's just made of steel and not a brass, aluminium, some other fancy materials. Or this one is also good machinist's hammer. But I want to make a nice one. <coughs> so, how it will look like. The piece of brass will be connected with the piece of steel. I will not use all the piece of brass, I will use just uh, half of it. And uh, at the moment this one is uh, 25 millimeters, so I will reduce the size to um, 18 to somehow match better with the 12 mm steel and uh, 20 mm aluminium that I will use for the uh, heads. In this case I will have a nice uh, machined hammer for working with uh, uh, metal parts that I will not damage them, because if I will use this one I will just uh, damage parts with which I am working. <clears throat> It's quite useful tool that you could found in the shop. Every time you're starting with the facing of the material you have on the ways should be pretty okay for now as well. and drill in a center hole. Now just a light center. So all the dimensions is almost free. I will use 45 millimeters of the brass, and then will be like uh, 10 millimeters of aluminum on both sides of the hammer. Hammer will be uh, completely rounded and uh, round handle from one side. Super easy. Now cut another brass. Here it is. What I will do next, uh, next I will drill a hole in the center uh, for the handle and make a handle for it. This one is a bit bigger than uh, designed, uh, so it's uh, like a half millimeter bigger. So I have, I will have to face it anyway. So let's try to work with what I have. I'm again doing everything wrong, but it's only one tool that persisted enough for me uh, with which I could drill 11 millimeter hole for the handle here. Mm, but before that, the hole for the um, thread that will be M6, I think, or maybe better M8. 
let's see. Anyway, the home. The 6mm hole and 12mm bit. I will use 6mm cutter to make a hole bigger. I will just move a bit the table and rotate the round table. Quite easy task. Now I have exactly 11 millimeters bigger hole here and a smaller uh, 6.8 for the M8 thread. Just a threading and basically this part is done. Next will be the handle and trying to fit them together. For making such small thread I'm always using just a top, so I don't need nothing more or bigger. Just a tap is enough in this case. On the handle, I will start with the thread. So it's 8mm thread, so let's go. I will cut 10mm of thread because here I have the hole for the uh, center <clears throat> so I need to go after this hole and then I will cut afterwards after all work is fin will be finished with the handle uh, this part with the uh, uh, centering or maybe even more than 10 millimeters yeah I think I will go like 15 millimeters at least anyway let's go Now I will cut the thread. This one is completely prepared, so this face is done. Everything looks okay. I'm just going to hold this. And this will be complete crash test for my gears. So all the gears are plastic, printed on the 3D printer. Um, but the manual I need to use for 1.25 uh, millimeter pinch thread uh, gear with uh, 50 tooth on the top, any one on the middle and 60 on the bottom. Let's see how it works. First one. Uh, 
and off. A bit back and reverse. Now I'm making a handle. How long it should be? Uh, how long I can make on this lace? It's actually not uh, very long anyway. It's like 200 millimeters or so at the end. Now is the final clean cut. Now the handle is done and it's time to get back to the uh, hammer itself. I need to make the aluminum ends. Now I have all pieces almost done. The last step only uh, left. I have all pieces almost done. Just last step left. I need to face the hammer. Because here I have a bit bigger uh, pieces. So I want to have them exactly rounded and exactly the same. So I will face this, all this piece together. I will need to do that in two stages. One stage I will do half, and then on the second stage I will do another half. How it will go, let's see, and let's take a look at the result. I will use another cutter that makes much better finishing. This one I'm usually using just for roughly cutting of the material and removing it. And here I have another one with another one insert that works much better with the facing of soft materials.
I will polish it anyway, so there will be no visible defects at all at the end. And yes, now I will probably scratch it. Oh, probably no. We'll see. Just a little bit of polishing and I'm ready to assemble. I will use a thread lock that everything is pretty solid and will not unscrew. And I'm done. I like how it looks and I'm pretty sure it will work also great. I have a soft ends that I could actually replace if I will want to, of course I will probably lose this nice look, but this hammer, this machinist hammer should work. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.